All right, guys, where do we start here? So I did an audit, basically took all of the flashlights that I owned and, and took a look at them and see what I had. And what I had was a, a real hodgepodge of um, really a bunch of junk. A couple good ones mixed in there. You know, some of my Surefire lights, you know, that are more the tactical side of it. I'm not, look, this is not EDC. This is not, I, I don't care about tactical. I don't care about the brightest. I don't care about beam pattern. I don't care about any of that candle power form nonsense. I want simple. I want proven, affordable, and I want it to work. I don't want modes or strobes or flashies or anything like that. I want a switch to turn on. I want a switch to turn off. I want something that I can use with gloves in cold weather. I want something that I can hand to my wife that doesn't frustrate her, that she doesn't have to read a textbook to learn how to use, right? And then on multiple flashlights, I've got multiple interfaces, and they're, it's just so frustrating. I'll tell you, the other day, there was a, the other night, there was a, dogs were out scrapping with something, a coyote or something, and I grabbed a flashlight, went out there, and of course, immediately, you know, uh, the thing starts flashing, and I can't figure out how to get it off. I was so aggravated with it, I almost just threw it in the pond. I mean, good grief. So I'm done with all that stuff. So I got to look in, I got to think, well, who, what can I draw upon to find out, you know, what's gonna be the best stuff? And, I, I, and I, the, the answer was right in front of me it, with the fire department. We have been using, and I think the majority of you guys that are volunteering have been using the, uh, the Streamlight uh, survivor style of flashlights for a long time. We were, we've actually been issued the 90 degree ver version with our bunker gear. And I wasn't super impressed with them because they were, um, they were halogen and they just weren't very bright. They didn't cut through smoke very good. Well, now they, all of these lights are being offered in LED. And this particular light here is, is going to be on the top of my pick. I, I loved it so much that once I got the first one, I ordered a second one. And I like the price. It's 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I don't think that there is a better value out there for lights than Streamlight. They offer absolutely bulletproof, super tough, proven lights that are used daily in the emergency services um, that I don't need to do the test. I'm not running over these. I'm not dragging them behind the car. They've already, they have a track record that speaks for themselves. But this particular one here is an awesome flashlight. When I bought it, I was just looking for, I want a flashlight like Granddad used to have. I don't want a small one. These flashlights are gonna be in the house. These are gonna be by the doors. They're gonna be in the same place every time. Uh, that was one criteria. They have to run off AA batteries. We'll talk about that too. Um, and they've just gotta be simple and easy to use. The problem with these little tactical flashlights for me, most of them that I have, they don't work. I don't know what it is that, you know, they seem the batteries go flat. I don't know if they, what it is, they just are never working. The only flashlights that I've had that have worked 100% of the time have been Surefire, Phoenix, and Streamlight. All the O-lights and the, all the other fancy ones that you have out there, they're just, I have not had good luck with them at all. So this really appealed to me. What was really nice about, this is one of the most innovative flashlights I've ever seen in that it has a dual beam. As I said, I bought it. I thought it was just a normal bite, flashlight, push on, push off like Granddad had, double A batteries, uh, I'm good to go. But when I got it, I realized there was a second switch on it. And if you look on the second switch, you'll see that it has a flood pattern that shines on the bottom. How smart is that? So you, what, you, what you essentially have right here is two switches. You can run the flood beam, which illuminates everything that where your feet are, where you're walking, and then you can have a, a long reaching beam, which is really bright, 145 lumens or so. I would say this flashlight was easily, went out to 300 feet last night, I, where I could identify something. Um, so you, you're illuminating your feet, you're illuminating your, uh, a long distance, it's just the whole package. Waterproof, uh, assembled in the USA, it's got a pocket clip on it, and it's got a great price. That's why I ordered two of them. I just, you just can't hardly beat it. I'm not going to go into specs here. If you want to go to the specs, you can geek out on the forums. I don't care about specs. I want function. I want it to work. The other reason I'm going with a more of a mid-sized flashlight in a high visibility color is just so it doesn't walk away. Those little tactical lights, for some reason, when I put them by the door or I put them by the water filter or by the nightstands, they just melt away. And I'm guilty of it as well. They go in my pocket. They go in... Um, Mrs. W's purse. These, not so much. They're bright. Uh, they're a little bit big. Yeah, you can fit these perfectly in a cargo pocket like on your Carhartts. It is an excellent flashlight. Big rubber grips, easy to deal with with gloves, four seasons. Um, simple, no problem. Three AA batteries and you're set. And the clip. So I just could not, I would, I, I would have been happy with this light at this price if it didn't have the flood feature. 
And the other thing that was nice, we were kind of messing around with lights and just talking about our plan last night, is that let's say the power goes out, what you have here is a really, this is a really broad, broad flood. You have a, an area light that, that you could sit at the table and you guys could eat. Or you could play a board game, you know, waiting for the power to come on. Uh, it's a great floodlight, and it's really broad. Uh, I dropped something off the deck yesterday when I took the dogs out, and I was able to turn this on, and it threw, threw a nice, broad beam. Excellent. Just an excellent flashlight. Very innovative. It is my favorite, my most favorite flashlight of all time. Uh, I just absolutely adore it. Wonderful. So that's it. Now, my philosophy on, um, uh, on power equipment... I, I am going, I'm going to try to have three of everything. So what I mean by that is, um, is backup. So when I'm ordering stuff like these flashlights, I've ordered two. And then the, ne the other flashlight that I have, which has completely different capabilities, which I'll share tomorrow, I ordered two. Um, and then I'm going to have a third source that is a non-electrical. What's so nice about the double A's is they uh, are ubiquitous. Uh, you're going to have them, you can get them anywhere. Um, they're not the most efficient, but they're not exotic. I don't want anything with exotic batteries. I want things that have just normal batteries that I can run um, high quality lithiums or I can do my rechargeables um, and I've got options. So that comes to battery. So what am I gonna do? What's my battery plan for my one year battery plan? What I'm gonna have is uh, I'm using these ammunition cases here. I've shared these before. I'll try to put a link to this stuff if I can still find them on Amazon. But this holds, this is made for reloaders. These are really high quality, inexpensive um, cases. You can see they hold batteries perfectly. And what I am gonna have for each battery is 50 of the Energizer Max Lithiums. Now the Lithiums come at a premium. This is, this whole box right here is about a, it's about $45 in batteries. You know, with the box, you're looking at 50 bucks. 30 bucks for the flashlight, 50 bucks for the, for the batteries. But these Lithiums, what's so appealing about them, is they have a, about a 20, 25 year shelf life. That's really appealing. And what I find with the lithiums, because they're expensive, and I, 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 they're more precious because of they're expensive, I don't tend to use them for frivolous things. Um, I know that you know, Jack needs something for his video game controller or something. You know, he doesn't grab the lithiums because they're expensive, and so you tend not to use them. What I find with the alkalines is, I'll go buy you know, a couple packs at Costco, and you know, pretty soon you're taken from your emergency stocks because you're running out, and then you, the, bat, the power goes off, and then you've got three batteries left. So that's why I'm doing it. Shelf life, for one thing, performance is way exceeds uh, the alkalines, um, and they're lighter as well, and I don't tend to use them. So for each flashlight, so I'll be looking at having 200 batteries, so that's gonna be about a $200 investment in batteries, but a 25 year shelf life, right? So that's, that is my plan uh, for the number one light. I'm really excited to show you the, the non-electrical option. Um, we got those in and we started using them last night and they are really cool, uh, but that will be a video into itself. So that's my pick for the, the number one, the Streamlight Dually, the three, takes three double A's. Here I can show you how they load real quick. So you just take the reflector out and here you have the whole thing comes out like a canister. You can see that there. So you got your, your triple A's there. I, I just, and it came with batteries. You know, the funny thing when I bought this on Amazon, it was $30, including the three alkaline batteries. It was $40 without the batteries. So <laughs> I don't know. That's, a, that's what you call a no-brainer there, right? Uh, but what a great flashlight. Uh, super, super tough. Great clip. Uh, I just love it. Perfect size. I don't like holding those little flashlights. When I want to go out and do battle with a bear or a coyote, I want something I can get my hands on here. So that's it for my pick. So, yeah, and um, I guess that's it. Tomorrow we'll jump into the, the next portion. And so what's going to be coming up, I, I think I pretty much have decided on the radios. I'm going for mil-spec, military grade, you know, whatever that means, um, high-quality, waterproof top-notch radios that are not complicated. Because the truth of the matter with radios is for me is that I am not gonna geek out and, and I'm not gonna be doing a bunch of technical stuff. I don't want complications. I want simple, robust, and I want easy to use. I wanna be able to put a radio in, in my son's hand or my wife's hand or in my neighbor that's coming and helping me round up cattle or, or whatever, and we can use it. Um, that's what I want. I want digital, I want high quality. What I, I'll tell you, what I've kind of, what I'm getting really close to narrowing in on is the new, is the Motorola CP200Ds. 
I think is what I'm going to do. 16 channel radio um, that is proven, classic. Um, so if you're a radio guy, contact me. Uh, if I'm on the right track or not on the right track, uh, but I'll be sharing that. And then we're going to be moving on to food. We're going to be doing four years of food. <laughs> so uh, so um, um, I think I have that pretty well nailed down. Fuel storage is coming up soon. Lots of stuff coming up. I've just, uh, I've got things coming in and um, swapping out the inferior for the, for the, for the better stuff. So no more junk, no more um, tactical, no more compromises. Um, buy once, cry once. We're buying quality. We're going to do it right. Um, and we're going to be not going to be the guy that's waiting for someone to come help him um, if, uh, if the power turns off. So thanks for watching. Keep us in your prayers and we'll see you guys. You know, may God bless you and your families. And we'll see you guys on the next video.